Back Country 98.1. Joining us, we have Rascal Flats. Welcome, guys. Yeah. Good morning. Well, what a way to wrap up your year. You're heading to number one with this song, Easy, with Natasha Bedingfield. It was so much fun doing that song with her, and it'd be great for it to be number one, and I'd be so thrilled for her, too. We saw you guys perform it at the Country Music Awards. It sounded great. looked like it was a lot of fun. You know, anytime Gary and her get together and sing, it's, there's so much energy, and it becomes a blast, you know. Getting to do this song with somebody from a different format was fun, too. They bring something else to the table. Speaking of the Country Music Awards, how cool was it to be able to perform with Lionel Richie? He's one of the coolest people on the entire planet planet and it was a thrill i mean you know we've all been fans mm -hmm. forever so to even be asked to be a part of his record was a thrill for us it's so funny we used to have this tradition where he played dancing on the ceiling every night after the show to kind of decompress and chill to and to be able to sing that song with him now on that record was something else do you guys now have the bieber fever since you work with the biebs i got a slight fever <laughs> <laughs> Were you surprised by how talented he is for such a young artist? So inspiring to be around somebody that's so eaten up with music and being creative. It just seeps out of him, you know. Was he like, mobbed when he was performing with you guys, though? Did you see all the girls that go crazy? We were kind of uh, in a location that was private, so there wasn't a lot of that. Not that you guys don't have the girls that go crazy. I didn't mean to suggest that he has more than you. How dare you? <laughs> Were you all tempted to get his haircut afterward or no? Yeah, you know, you know, I just I'm trying to get a little shorter. You know, I'm six one. I want to be like, you know, four foot nine like you. <laughs> I need to ask Jay about acting. You're doing something with Kix Brooks? Yeah, since Brooks and Dunn had retired, he's been getting into the acting world, and he's actually started his own production company. He's been doing some films, and we were out one night, and he just said, "Saw y'all on CSI," and he said, "I got a little role in this Christmas movie. If you want to do it, I'd love to have you in it." Joe Dunn, any plans for you to foray? No, I'm gonna act like a pro golfer. <laughs> things pop up every now and then and we jump at the chance yeah. you know, when anything comes up. You know, Jay was not in the sharing mood. He didn't tell us anything about <laughs> it. Brooks didn't call us. Barbara Walters on with the most fascinating people. Who would you pick for the most fascinating of the year? Charlie Sheen. Oh, that <laughs> is a good one. Good choice. Well, hey, you guys, we are so excited. We're presenting you at Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence, January 27th. If it's not sold out yet, it's really close. So we're excited to have you for the Thaw Out Tour. We're really excited to be back on the road. We've been off for a little while, so I think we're itching to get back out there and pick a little bit. Well, yeah. you're coming to New England in January, so you might be greeted with a few feet of snow. Oh, we don't mind that. We'll sled right in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for taking the time to call in. Easy as the single. Go on out and get nothing like this and fill up those stockings with it for Christmas. Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you, guys.